Pushed back tonight over plans to reopen an investigative committee of the Jacksonville City Council. This is a very, very, in my opinion, scary precedent that we should all as a community be worried about. Why some council members are calling the reformation of the committee a huge slippery slope. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jeannie Blaylock. And I'm Anthony Austin. We want to thank you for joining us tonight at 6. So just a short while ago at a public meeting, several council members criticized the committee's formation, calling it an abuse of power. On your side, Tara Levesque was at that meeting. She joins us live now from Jacksonville City Hall with why some believe this new committee is really just a purely political move. Yeah, that's right. Council members Brenda Priestley Jackson and Randy Dufour were both on the original committee and say council members should not be investigating each other. Dufour went as far to call it an abuse of power. What if next year someone, a president of the council, has a beef with one of the other city councilmen? Are they going to open up a special committee to investigate them on some chumped up charge and create some reason why that is allowed? from legislative purposes, this is a very, very, in my opinion, scary precedent that we should all as a community be worried about. The new committee was created to investigate city council member and mayoral candidate Leanna Cumber, specifically whether she disclosed her husband's involvement in the failed sale of the city utility. Both Priestley Jackson and Dufour say the committee is a purely political move in the mayor's race. And this comes a day before the new committee is supposed to ha hold its first meeting. Coming up at 7, we'll have more from other city council members and their thoughts about this controversy. In downtown Jacksonville, Taylor Levesque, Frisco News on your side. Taylor, thank you so much.